Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your six month forecast for July through December 2018. I have pre shuffled this deck. I'm just going to shuffle it for a moment more. This is going to cover homework, finances, love, and overall energy. Okay, then we're going to have an oracle card at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to fly by the seat of my pants like I usually do. This is a general reading, okay, so it may not resonate with everybody. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is for the sign of Taurus. This is your home, work, finances, love, overall. We're going to get an oracle. July, August. August, home, work, finances, love, overall, September, October, October 2018. November, and I'm going to zoom throughout the reading to the spots that we're at in December 2018. Now we're going to get the oracles. I've chosen this oracle deck for the sign of Taurus. Oracle card for July. Oracle card for August. Oracle card for September. Oracle card for October. Oracle card for November. An Oracle card for December. Let me see what we're looking like up here. Not too bad. I'm going to move it right up. Okay, I'm going to flip over. Home. The moon reversed. Work. Great work. Ace of Pentacles. Finances. The chariot. Love. The high priestess reversed. And overall outcome is the Queen of Swords reversed. And your Oracle card is doubt. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers in July. I'm going to go ahead and zoom that right in up there to July. I might have to higher up my camera. Bear with me while I focus this in. Or try to anyway. I'm going to get a new camera here someday. Okay, so we're going to start this right out. The first card is the moon in reverse in your home sector. This is, the moon is about caution, beware, changes, okay, cycles. This is in reverse. So there could be a cycle that is ending in your home that allows you to make some big changes. You may be accepting some sort of 
of reality here, okay? Whatever this is, be 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 careful. There's something could could change in your home that changes your whole way of life, okay? With the moon card, there's something going on behind the scenes that is going to change your your home, okay? Whatever this is, I don't know what it is. I'm going to get a clarifier for this moon card for July for your home. What is this? And every every uh, six month forecast is going to be a little bit different. We have the Eight of Swords in reversed. Something is being removed. Some some sort of obstacle in your home life is being removed, or you're coming up with a way to remove it. Um, it feels as though something has made you uncomfortable in your home, or something has been a little um, worrisome. There could be an issue in your home that's been causing you worry, and you may decide that it's time to fix it. Okay, or you may have to fix it. Something may happen that, you know, you got to fix it, whatever it is. There could be some kind of upheaval that forces you to finally fix something. Okay, that's in your home life, in your home. Okay, there is some sort of um, situation that hasn't been going well that is going to get better because you're going to fix it. Something is going to get better in your home, believe it or not, with those two cards, both in reversed. Something's going to get better. So, great. Awesome. As far as your work life goes, the Ace of Pentacles, that pretty much speaks for itself. That's, that's, a, that's secure. You're probably feeling very secure and abundant at work. You are feeling... Um, you know, you may be, be getting some bonuses, you could be feeling very, or getting some sort of recognition, you could be getting a raise, you could be getting a new job, you could be um, moving up the ladder. I mean, this Ace of Pentacles is fantastic in your work sector. You are you are definitely an asset to the company. Or if you are you have your own business, there should be a there should be an increase in your money. Either way, there's probably an increase in money this month for you, Taurus, because of all the hard work that you do and all the effort that you put in. So as far as your work goes in July. You could be receiving, you know, a pay increase or a bonus or, you know, a little extra gift even from your employer. But it does look like it's a very abundant month in the work arena. You know, you are definitely um, very secure and stable in July in your work arena. As far as your finances go, we have the chariot. Things are progressing very, very quickly for you. Um, it feels as though you are headed in the right direction as far as your finances go. If they were uh, looking a little shaky, they should be getting better. Money should be coming in. It could be coming in really quickly, especially with, from your work. You know, things are paying off. There should be an increase in your finances this month for some reason. Either it's your hard work paying off or, or somebody giving you, giving you a gift of money. Things are, are looking really good. You're headed towards success financially. Um, and it's because you guys are taking the lead in your own life. When you take the lead you get rewarded. So I feel like you are going to receive some sort of reward from your work, okay, which is going to affect your finances in a positive way. So I see a positive a financial um, outlook for July. It just looks really good. As far as your love, we have the high priestess reversed. The high priestess reversed is repression. It's loss of self. It's It's secrets. So perhaps, you know, you're 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 feeling like you're alone you may be feeling lonely you may feel like you're dealing with somebody that's keeping some secrets you may be withdrawing internally to try to figure out you know what's going on you know you're trying to figure out what secrets who has secrets you know what what's going on you're trying to to know you know and you're not able to quite figure this out it's like your intuition is a little bit shaky here in regards to your love life you may be feeling like, I just, I know something is, is up, but I really don't know. So I think that as far as your love life goes, I'm going to get a clarifier here. Um, there is some, so, some sort of burden that is holding you back in your love life. Some sort of um, heaviness that you are hanging on to. And, and that could be your own. Maybe it's your own thoughts getting the best of you. 
So I just feel as though, you know, you are carrying around some baggage from the past that you need to let go of and not let it worry you. Something is worrying you in your love life that it really doesn't need to worry you. It's, it's something that you're letting worry you. You're hanging on to it. So my advice for you is to just let it go. Just just drop it. Just drop this baggage, whatever it is that's causing this repression, that's causing this fear, okay, of, of hidden agendas. Just, just don't bring it with you. Just let it go. Um, it feels like, you know, you, you may be feeling a little overwhelmed in your love life, overwhelmed with thought, okay? So just, you know, that's the way it is. Sometimes that's the way it goes. The overall, and that's the doubt. That makes sense. You're having doubts, okay? Doubts in your love life that something is going to work out. I think that's where that doubt applies. As far as the Queen of Swords reverse, that's the overall energy. You may be still harbor, harboring some, resent, some resentment this month, okay? You may be still a little bit angry or upset over a situation. You could be feeling... Um, quite alone, you know, alone in your own thoughts. So I feel as though, you know, you're going through some changes, perhaps in your home, you know, you're really focusing on your work and your finances at this time. So I feel like love is taking the back burner and you're not happy about it. You're not happy that love is taking the back burner, but you have doubts about love. So that's why you're focusing, you're focusing on your home and you're focusing on your finances because of the doubts in the love arena. Yeah, the baggage from the past is causing this repression. They're causing the, causing this self-doubt. So I feel like that, and that's resentment. That's resentment. That's unable to see things from a new perspective. That's unable to think positive. You're thinking negative in July about your love life, but your th your your work and your finances are going well because that's what you're concentrating on. Maybe you're just too busy for love at this time. You know, and, and that's the kind of like a protective tactic. And that's what the Queen of Swords in reverse does. She protects herself because she's been so hurt in the past. So I feel like your past hurts are, are causing you to protect yourself from love. And you're in, so you're burying yourself in your work and, you know, you're, you're recovering financially, but you're not really focused on love. But you want love. You need love. You need love. But. I feel as though, you know, you ha you're, you're evolving. You are evolving. You're working on restoring that balance and harmony within you. You are in July. You're working on healing still. And you are healing. Um, <laughs> it feels as though you are going through some sort of spiritual renewal. And maybe that's why you're protecting yourself from love at this time. Because as you decide, as you get to the point where you are, are balancing out the energies within yourself and you're going through the spiritual renewal, you may need this alone time to go through that process, to release the doubts in, and fears that you hold back. So I feel like this is a month of, of really focusing on your work and your finances and burying yourself to overcome the, the past hurt that you've been in. But you are working through the hurt. You are still healing. So it's not like you're not making progress. You are. You're working on releasing those doubts. Okay? That's what's happening in July. So that's my forecast for July. I feel like, do I see new love coming in? I don't because if you're single, I don't see new love coming in because you're still healing. If you are with somebody, you may feel a little alone. You may try to figure out. You may be thinking, you know what, I need to figure out what they're doing. What, what the hell are they doing? But the fact of the matter is, is you don't need to know all the answers. You need to trust. You need to have faith. So let it go. You, if you are in a relationship and you are worried, let it go. Just let it go. You don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to harbor resentment. Resentment. You don't need to bring the past hurts with you. You need to. You need to have faith. Okay. I release the need to know all the answers. Everything is absolutely having happening for a reason. It is because you are evolving. You are changing. Everything is happening for a reason. Just go with it. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Okay. There. That's your message for July. With that, I'm going to save the rest for the Vimeo reading. See you there.
give you a little sneak peek at August. See you on Vimeo.